Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by the Rogue ST Woods and Irons from Callaway. Hello, I'm Anna Jackson, and this is your Golf Central update. Well, this week, the PGA Tour heads to TPC Summerlin in Las Vegas, Nevada, for the 40th playing of the Shriners Children's Open. Coverage gets underway tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern, right here on Golf Channel. And for more from Vegas, here is Amy Rogers. Patrick Cantlay closed out last season on the PGA Tour with five top tens in his last six starts. He kept that momentum rolling with a successful run at the President's Cup where he helped to lift the U.S. team to victory. And now he comes here to TPC Summerlin where he makes his season debut. And this is a place where he's had quite a bit of success. A winner here back in 2017, twice has finished runner up and finished eighth in 2020. I had a chance to speak with him earlier today and asked what is it about this course that tends to bring out his best golf. Yeah, I think uh, the fairways are relatively wide, but you definitely need to play from the fairway here. And uh, in general, I hit a lot of drivers here and hit a lot of fairways, and so I'm able to have a lot of birdie opportunities. You're coming into this new season off quite a run at the end of last year, five top tens in your last six starts. What's the key to keeping that momentum rolling? I think just sticking in my process and uh, staying patient. You know, a week like this where you know it's going to take a lot of birdies. I think um, if you get off to a stretch where you just make a bunch of pars, you feel like you're losing ground. But um, as you know, when you're in that stretch, as difficult as it seems, you can rattle them off here one after the other. So staying patient on this golf course is important and not pressing. As you begin this new season, what are some of the goals as you look ahead to the weeks and months to come? I think just, uh, you know, like I said, really sticking to my process and um, doing all the things that have been working and so um, not trying to do anything extra or outside myself and um, you know sticking to my game plan to each and every golf course and really playing within myself and uh, you know carrying that confidence to each and every event. On a course like this that tends to turn into a birdie fest what sort of your game plan that you take to a course like this? Not much different than a normal golf course. I mean, I try to drive the golf ball in the fairway, stay fairly aggressive. Um, there's usually quite a few accessible hole locations, but occasionally you find a hole location that's tough and you got to respect it. Um, and my, you know, plan around this golf course is to get as many looks as possible. And, you know, you got to make a bunch of birdies if you want to contend. Well, come Thursday, Cantley may still be having some of those President's Cup vibes. He's grouped with Sung JM, a member of the international team at the President's Cup, who's also defending champion here this week. They are two of ten players in the field here that played in the President's Cup, and many of them are making just their first start since competing in the event. I had a chance to catch up with members of both the U.S. and the international teams to find out how that experience of competing in the President's Cup can translate to success weekend and week out out here on the PGA Tour. Having a good plan, I think not getting too off course, not getting overly frustrated with maybe, you know, hours of, a couple hours a day at the tournament of maybe not feeling perfect. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, there's going to be ebbs and flows this season, uh, even, even when you play great. So uh, you just have to kind of stay the course, trust, uh, trust in like kind of your process and what you've kind of found to be to, to work. And uh, even on weeks where it might not be perfect, you can kind of figure out, uh, figure out a way to get in the hole. And I think that's, uh, that's kind of what I've been trying to do for a while. And obviously, you know, I'm not gonna win every golf tournament, but at least I know that the plan does work. It's the first time for me that I didn't really play for myself. I played for everyone else. And uh, on Saturday, like, on 18 for me instead of making that putt for myself I had the whole team watching so it definitely made me it got me more more, more motivated than regular events um, and I think I can kind of use that as as an individual because it is an individual sport but there's so many behind the scenes work that you do with your team that uh, I can feel I can inner channel more and use that to my advantage yeah I mean I think it's the most pressure you're ever gonna um, face um, most people I've ever played in front of and obviously you're you're playing for your team and you want to do very well um, so just I guess trying to manage those expectations and um, you know obviously I didn't get a point but I felt like I, I played some good golf some days um, and there's a lot of shots that I'll that I'll lean back on um, in certain situations out here that I think will really help me going forward and um, but yeah it was a unbelievable week and, and like I said there's there's a few shots that will stick with me. 
For Pendrith to have that attitude just goes to show what an incredible experience it is for these players to get to compete in the President's Cup regardless of the outcome. And just a side note, Anna, there have been some changes here to the course at TPC Summerlin where they changed the grass on both the greens and the fairways. The course has been closed since mid-April, so just now players getting a chance to see this course and the changes that have unfolded. I asked Patrick Cantley about the changes, someone who obviously has played very well here in the past, and he said he really doesn't notice a difference. Anna? Lovely stuff. Thanks, Amy. Well, no coincidence here for one of the featured groups on Thursday. It'll be three of those stars of the President's Cup pair together. Max Homer, Tom Kim and Siwoo Kim will tee off at 10.24 a.m. Eastern time. And that is our Golf Central update. Thanks, as always, for watching.